beautiful friends, it's Julia here again from Made by the Chef and I've got a special little treat for you today. Now my very dear friend Martin messaged me the other day and he sent me a picture of his mum, Jean. Love Jean, absolutely adorable lady. And at the age of 76, she went out in the garden and ran. She took up running. Do you know what that means? That means that it's never too late to try something new. Don't put off tomorrow what you can do today, right? Everything's possible. You can give it a go. Try something. And I love that. I love Jean. So do you know what? This cake is for Jean and all of those fantastic people out there who go out and they try something new. Hey, we've got time. Right? We're at home. So give something new a go. So I'm going to make this amazing cake. Now why do I love this cake so much? Because it's so simple. It's just a very simple sponge that you can use for a Victoria sandwich. And I'm going to put lemon zest and orange zest in it just to give it an extra little bit of flavour. So let's make our cake. Now, what have I got? It's, it's brilliant because everything is in equal quantities. So, I've got 250 grams of butter, or you can use margarine, anything will do. You know I love my stalk, so I've got 250 grams of stalk in here, actually. I'm going to be using 250 grams of sugar. Now, normal caster sugar, golden caster sugar, light brown soft sugar. That's what I've got, so I'm going to show you that here. I've got light brown soft sugar. Again, 250 grams, four eggs, so four medium eggs, 250 grams of flour, self raising now I'm using self-raising flour, and I've actually put a little teaspoon of baking powder in there as well. I've got my lemon and orange zest here, and I've got orange juice as well, so I'll squeeze the juice out of the two oranges that I grated, because I like to put a bit of that in there too. So now we're gonna mix up everything. Beat together the butter and the sugar first till it's nice and creamy, which is what I'm going to do. And then we're going to add our eggs. Now, a bit noisy, what you're looking for, when you're beating it together, whisking it, the mixture, the butter and the sugar is going to go quite light and creamy. Woo! That's enough of that for a minute. So you can see it's quite light, it's quite creamy. It's getting quite nice and fluffy, and that's what you're looking for. And then we're going to beat in our eggs. So I'm going to crack one egg into it. So all I'm going to do, now if you want, you can, again, beat your eggs, crack them all into a separate container, beat them, and then uh, just add them in a little bit at a time. Or like me, I like to just crack the egg straight in, one at a time. Just watch out for any shells. And then all you're going to do is you're just going to start beating that in. So now I've beaten the eggs, I want to put a bit of vanilla extract in there, give it an extra little bit of flavour. So I'll pop that in as well. I like to be a bit extravagant and generous with my vanilla. Beat that in one last time. And that is it. Okay, so now that you've done all that whisking and that beating, that's it. All you have to do is fold in the flour and the zest. Now what I like to do, I like to put my zest into my flour and mix it in. And then I fold that in. Just keep turning it round. Just taking your spoon in a sort of figure of an eight and turning the mixture over so that you can incorporate all of the flour. Now you've added all the flour and you've got a nice cake batter there now. Look at that. Oh, fantastic. Finally, you're going to add your orange juice. So I always put a bit of orange juice in mine because I really love that extra orangey flavour. And in fact, if you wanted to, you could even put lemon juice in there. And don't forget, you need to set your oven to 170 degrees centigrade, so that's about gas mark three. I always cook my cakes around that sort of temperature. 
cracks and I don't want it to overcook too quickly on the outside before it rises up and cooks on the inside. So that's it. Oh, that's beautiful. Did you ever used to lick the bowl when you were a kid? Oh, I tell you love cake batter. Very naughty. So now I have got a floured, I've got greased and floured tin. I'm just going to go ahead, pop the mixture in. There's a little bit of mixture left for the kids to lick. So now, smooth it off. Always make sure you smooth off your cake mixture. And I like to just give it a little shake on the surface just to make sure it's evenly spread. And now we're going to bake our cake. And what you're looking for is probably about 40 minutes. Check it though after half an hour. Check it after 30 minutes, see how it's doing. What you want is when you touch the sponge, it bounces back. So I'm gonna let that bake and I'll check back with you again in a moment. Oh my goodness me, look at that. The cake is out of the oven. It has risen beautifully and it looks so tempting. So we're going to let that cool down now, just for a little bit, before we cut into it. Hello my beautiful friends, the cake is baked. I let it cool just a little bit, but I couldn't resist. I've cut a slice. This is amazing, it's risen, it's light, it's fluffy, it's spongy. It's got a wonderful aroma of lemon and orange zest. I'm going to have to have a little taste, of course. There you go. Oh, oh look at that. Oh. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Tastes so good. That's our celebration cake for Jean. What an amazing lady, running in her 70s. Seriously, come on, you can do it too. Do something new, try something new. It's never too late. Have a wicked day. Stay at home with me. And I'll see you again soon.